Lightning Jack, story by Glenda Millard, pictures by Patricia Mullins. Sam Tully eyed the Brumbies at the muster in the park, and among them as they galloped, he saw one that stood apart. From the other colts and fillies, duns, dapples, browns and bays, a stallion, black as midnight, on his brow a jagged blaze, a gallant horse, a midnight horse, a horse called Lightning Jack. His eyes burned red as rubies, and his velvet nostrils flared. His silver stirrups jangled as the mighty stallion reared. With hooves like burnished ebony, he drummed the dusty air and screamed the awful challenge, Ride me, Tully, if you dare! A daring horse, a midnight horse, a horse called Lightning Jack. And though the thought of such a ride sent quivers down his back, Sam Tully drew a breath and vowed, I'll ride you, Lightning Jack. In oilskin coat and snarling spurs and lasso at his hip, he strode towards the challenger with billy, swag and whip. A stockman's horse, a midnight horse, a horse called Lightning Jack. Sam grabbed the reins, Jack took the bit, both eager for the ride, to stop a mob of steers stampeding down the mountainside. They thundered through the stringy barks, through saplings thick and thin, to the perfect rhythmic ripple of muscle under skin. A mountain horse, a midnight horse, a horse called Lightning Jack. A whiplash stung the afternoon. A lasso snared the sun. Sam wheeled the herd and drove them home without the loss of one. The grazier gazed astonished as red dust choked the air. He cupped his hands and hollered, I'll own that horse, I swear. Five hundred steers for the drover's horse, the horse called Lightning Jack. But freedom beckons beggars, boys and horses, slaves and kings. And like the mythic Pegasus, Jack rose on outstretched wings. Sam's words streamed out behind them, rainbow kite tails in the sky. He's not my horse for selling, and he's not your horse to buy. He's a flying horse, a fabled horse, this horse called Lightning Jack. Where grass and grain were blown away, where lonely bones lay bleaching where sulphur-crested cockatoos on ghostly gums sat screeching, where knuckles knocked on empty tanks and sad eyes searched for rain. Slow smiles appeared as hoofbeat thunder throbbed above the plain. Horse of the gods, diviner's horse, the horse called Lightning Jack. Beside a gorge called Dead Man's Leap, outside Glenrowan Town, Sam Tully and his mount touched earth as light as thistledown. From a dark and secret cavern watched an outlaw dressed in tin. If I had a horse like that, he thought, they'd never take me in. A wanted man on a midnight horse, the horse called Lightning Jack. A hundred hoofbeats on the highway, troopers three rows deep. A hundred metres down the jagged rocks of Dead Man's Leap. A desperate man, a gleam of gold, a pistol aimed and cocked. It takes a man with nerves of steel to take the leap, he mocked. A bag of gold for your midnight horse, the horse called Lightning Jack. Though ambushed by an outlaw with an armour-plated heart, a quality called courage set the midnight horse apart. His feathered fetlocks flayed the sky, the pistol catapulted, and with a graceful pas de deux, the dead man's leap was vaulted. The boy and his horse, the dancing horse, the horse called Lightning Jack. In a place like horse's heaven, where grass grew green and sweet, where roses strewed their petals at the passing pageant's feet, came a cavalcade of horses, all keen to seek their fame. But amongst them was a legend, and Farlap was his name. 
Beside him pranced the midnight horse, the horse called Lightning Jack. Sam Tully, dressed in vibrant silks, rode Jack, the midnight steed. Neck and neck, Jack ran with Farlap, who raced at breakneck speed. The thronging thousands cheered as they passed the finish post. All eyes were on the midnight horse. The other was a ghost. The legend and the midnight horse. The horse called Lightning Jack. A gentle voice came calling, brought Sam back from far away. To traffic jams and neon lights and oil slicks on the bay. He slid from the splintered saddle, he stroked the ropey mane, and whispered in a wooden ear, Until I come again, my painted horse, my midnight horse, my horse called Lightning Jack. Where the sky was a sea of diamonds, washed by evening's tide, and the moon cast off a horseshoe, lost on a reckless ride. Sam's curls were on his pillow then, his boots beneath his bed, when over the hills of Ida Down he heard a muffled tread. And who should come a-prancing, tossing his mane and dancing? A dreamer's horse, a midnight horse, the horse called Lightning Jack.